When a storm hits, we worry about the flooding from the rain and the high winds. With many homes that have solar on the roof, that adds one more worry. We wanted to talk with the pros about solar and power, and we turned to Eric, Carl Eric Carlson of Revolution. A lot of homeowners right now are concerned about their solar system and what should you do prior to the storm and then what to do after the storm. Um, so prior to the storm, uh, for the most part, I would say that all of the solar systems that are being built in Hawaii are obviously put through, um, you know, our local required building codes and whatnot. So the, the, the products themselves, the materials, the installation practices all meet our strict codes here in Hawaii. So as far as concerns of your panels on the roof blowing away, I would say that that is probably a, a low uh, likely scenario. Secondly, people have a lot of questions on what happens if my power goes out. So that really comes down to what type of system you have, whether it's a grid tied system without batteries or a solar system that has batteries. Now we'll start with the system for homeowners who have a system that doesn't have batteries. So if power in your neighborhood were to go out, your system will automatically shut down. Even though the sun is out, your system is not going to provide electricity for your home. The reason being is that it's to ensure the safety of our utility workers who are you know, working really hard to bring power back to your neighborhood. And so your, again, when the power goes out, your system will, will shut down as well. So even if the sun is out, you will not be producing electricity for your home. Now, this is not the case if you have a battery system uh, also. So if you have a battery system and power to, were to go out in your neighborhood, you will automatically switch over to your battery to provide power. Your solar panels will charge your battery and then your home will use that energy um, on demand. So it is a good idea if you do have a battery and there, you notice that there's a power outage in your, in your neighborhood that you might wanna conserve your power um, so that you're not drawing down from your battery. What do we do after the storm? So there's a couple of things you can do. One, you can check to see if there's any debris on, the, on your solar panels and remove it if you can do so safely. Um, you can also do a quick check uh, to see if your system is working. Almost all solar systems have some type of monitoring device that allows you to see the performance of your system, whether it be uh, on your phone, on the, on the internet, or on the actual inverter itself. So. Um, regardless of what type of system you have, you should be able to tell visually, again, from your online monitoring app or physically looking at the inverter itself. If you see any visible damage to your system, do not touch it. Um, the panels may still be producing electricity. You know, call your installer immediately. Keep your family and your pets uh, away from any damaged system that you see. You can also report power outages online. Uh, by calling the Hawaiian Electric Company. And um, we want to give a special shout out to um, Hawaiian Electric, all, the, all of their employees, um, uh, everyone on their team across, you know, all the islands um, that are working, you know, at a rapid pace to, to um, make sure their lines are good. And we know that they're going to be out there during the storm and our hats go off to those guys uh, for keeping the lights on. Good stuff. Uh, we, we had a, a, a lengthy conversation uh, a couple weeks ago with Eric, um, but this is just a reminder for, for folks, and we will be talking again in another edition of Energy Innovation about battery backups. Super important, and yes. for not a lot of people have them like they do solar, and so we'll story in an upcoming edition of Energy Innovation. Okay, we'll look forward to that. John, 